Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's pregnancy workout is a pregnancy Pilates and bar fusion sculpting class. The only equipment that you need is a kitchen chair. You could also just grab onto a wall and you have the option of using some light dumbbells. I've got two and three pound dumbbells or you could grab water bottles or just do the movements with no weights at all. I may look like I'm pregnant. I'm actually just wearing a belly for demonstration. I do have three kids, but I also put out pregnancy workouts every week. If you like videos like these, Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We won't need our bar for the warm up. We can move it out of the way for now. Bring your feet wide apart. We'll plie down and you can come up stretching to the side, moving with your breath. A couple more here. Good. Let's warm up our neck. Other direction. Good. Let's do some hip circles here. Switching directions. You could also do this on the ball if it felt good. You can pull in your belly and we'll do some pelvic tilt. Good. And side to side. Let's warm up our ankles. We can circle them. You can grab onto your chair if it's hard to balance. Going both directions. Good. Finding your balance on your other foot. Switching directions. Take your feet wide apart now. So when you go down in your second position, plie, your knees aren't going past your ankles. We'll come up and down. Knees are pressing towards the back of the room, squeezing your glutes at the top. Ribs are stacked over your hip. Now let's add a Kegel to that as we come up. We're going to Kegel, release. Kegel, release. One more and up, down. Let's lift our heels up and down. Good. Last one, keep your heels up, let's pulse. Let's bring our stance in a little bit, then we will come up. We're gonna move to our Pilates stance and then out to second position. Let's go the other way now. We're gonna bring the other foot in and out, good. Good. 
Let's bring our feet together in our Pilates stance. Come up, down, pulse here. Knees are pressing out. Hopefully your legs are feeling a little bit warmer. Good, now let's turn our legs in. Pulse with our knees together. Squeezing your inner thighs. Heels are staying up. And we're going to tuck our pelvis under and back. I'll turn to the side so you can see. Good, finding a neutral pelvis. We can shake it out. You can go ahead and grab your chair now. I'm gonna put mine to the back so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna start with a rond de jaw. So we'll start in first position. Your knees and thighs are turning out from the hip bone. And we're gonna take our foot front around to the back and back through first position. You can keep your hand on your hip or you can add your hand, port de bras. Your hand on your bar or your chair is light. Last one here. Good. If you wanted to grab a water bottle or a weight, you can. We can turn our feet in for this one. Bring your hand up, palm facing up. We'll bring elbow to knee and lift your arm up towards the ceiling, keeping your core engaged. Last one. Let's open up our turnout here and we will point to the side now and bring elbow to knee out to the side and slight tilt over your chair. Keeping your core engaged, working your obliques. Last one, good, we can turn it in again. Now we're going to kick back and up and bring it together. Beautiful. Last one. Good, we can turn around to the other side. So we'll place our weight down. Again, you can have your hands on your hips for the round de jaw, or you can do a porte de bras as your foot comes forward and around. Last one, around back to first position. You can grab your weight, toes pointed forward, hand up and then elbow to knee. Core is engaged, pulling your baby in towards your spine.
Last one, turn it out, point to second position, and elbow to knee, reaching over. Last one, good, turning it in, reaching up, leg goes to the back, and elbow knee together, extend. One more. Beautiful. We're gonna face our bar or our chair now. So I'm gonna move mine so you can see me. You can keep your weight in one hand, the opposite that you're gonna use the leg. Find a neutral position, legs turned in. We will lunge back, finding a nice 90 degree angle. Tapping up, keeping your pelvis so it's not tipping, lunge back, tap up. Core's engaged. Shoulders are relaxed, roll down your back. Two more. And we'll stay down on the last one. We'll pulse here. Couple more seconds. Good. Coming up, we'll find our balance on our front foot here. You can bring your weight down or just do the movement with your hand. We're going to bend this knee we will row, bringing your elbow back, sliding your scapula into place on your back, then kick back, row again. Couple more. Last one. Good. Now we will extend, activate your triceps, and then kick back at the same time. Two more. Good, shake it out. We'll set up on the other side. Setting up for your lunge. Finding a good position here and then tapping up. Last one. Good. You can shift your weight back a little bit, bending that front leg. We'll get ready to row, reverse kick.
last kick here. We'll bring it back and squeezing your tricep at the same time as kicking. Last one, good. Shake it out, we can replace our weight down. Let's walk back, stretch it out here. Moving your pelvis and your tailbone away, feeling a stretch through your back. You can shift your hips back and forth here. Good. Let's walk back up and we can cross one ankle over. You can also sit on the chair if this is more comfortable and bend your leg and sit back for a figure four stretch. Releasing through your hip a little bit more. Good. Come on up. We can switch to the other side. Sitting back. Deep breaths. Letting your ribs expand all the way around. One more breath here. Sinking a little bit deeper. Coming up. Let's grab our ankle. So walk back as far as you can, touching with your fingertips, grabbing your ankle. You can stretch your quad here, knee reaching down towards the ground. Or if it feels good, you can tip and stretch this way. Knee pointing towards the back of the room now. Coming up, we'll switch to the other side. Feel free to stay here. Or if it feels good, you can tip forward. I'm keeping my ribs in here so my ribs aren't splaying out. I'm protecting my core. Good. Come on up. We're done with the chair. We can move it out of the way now. Let's grab a sip of water and then I will meet you down on the mat. Again, you can do this part without any weights at all. If you wanted to grab your water bottles or a couple of light dumbbells, you can. Let's bring one foot forward to stabilize our pelvis here. If your back knee is bothering you, you can also put a pillow or a blanket underneath. We're gonna bring our palms up and hands forward, not only to make room for your belly, but your arms are gonna have to work a little bit harder. We will curl up, bring them out to the side, curl to the side. Good. Keeping your core engaged, steady breaths. Upper arm is very steady as you curl. Last one here, good. We're gonna turn our palms down now and we're gonna punch, alternate crossing. Keeping your core engaged.
couple more. Last one, good. Let's bring our arms out to the side. We're gonna rotate up and down. Couple more. Good, release down. Let's switch to the other side and we'll repeat that on this side. Again, bringing your palms up, curl up and out. Good. Focusing on your form. Beautiful. One more out, good. Turning the palms down and punching. This side is definitely harder. Couple more. Last one, good. Release, take a breath. Bringing it up to the side and rotate up and down. Couple more. Good, release. We can place our weights down. Let's roll our shoulders. Coming forward. From here, we're going to tip over onto our side. If you wanted to grab a weight, you could, but it's definitely a challenge without, so don't feel like you have to. So we will tip over to the side. I'm gonna grab a weight just to show and knee is pointed forward. We're going to lift up with just your leg or if you wanted to add your arm up as well, you can. Core is engaged. Beautiful. Last one, good. Let's turn our knee up, extend our hand above, elbow towards your knee. Last one here. Good, bring your hand back to your hip. We'll engage our core, try not to rock back and forth. Lifting your leg up, we'll rainbow our leg. So we're gonna bring our toe forward, up and over to the back. The work here is in not letting your hip rock back and forth. Last one, beautiful. Let's bring our knees together. We can walk our hand out a little bit to find a modified side plank. We will dip down. You could also lie on your side here for a modification. Clamshell open. Dip, clamshell. Last one here. 
Good, let's get down all the way on the ground. Great job, let's just stretch it out here. We can stretch our quad. Take any movement that feels good. We can circle our knee. You can also stretch, bring your leg up if that felt good. Good. Let's bring it down. We'll set up on the other side, getting carefully up on your side. Finding your place on your knees and then tipping over, you can extend your top leg, knee pointing forward and doing just your leg or you can add in your arm as well. Last one here, beautiful. Hand up, turn your top leg out. Two more. Beautiful, we can bring our hand to our hip here. Engage your core, find your balance. We'll rainbow our leg again. Last one, good. Let's lower down to a modified side plank. Dip, clamshell. Awesome job, last one. Good, now we can release all the way down to the ground. Taking a nice quad stretch here. <sighs> Take some deeper breaths. Some hip circles if that felt good. Lifting your leg up, doesn't matter how far it goes. Good, release down. Using your arm to push yourself up will come to all fours. If your wrists are bothering you, you can also be down on your forearms. We're getting close to done here. From here, we can extend our leg back. As we bring it in, we're going to bend our elbows, keeping them in. Bring our knee in, extend, straighten and coming down, working your triceps here. Working your back, your glutes. Good 
last one on this side good keep it extended we're gonna cross it over squeeze your inner thighs extend back and then open it up for fire hydrant extend back and then back to squeezing your inner thighs keeping your core engaged Last one. Good, release down. Let's sit back, stretch out through your glute for a minute. Take a breath. Let's set up on the other side. Extending it back as we bring it in. Bending our elbows towards the ground. Last one, beautiful, cross it over, inner thigh, extend, bring it around side, fire hydrant, keeping your core active. Last one, good, release down, you can sit back, stretch for our other glute now. Let's come back up onto all fours and cat and cow, really feeling a stretch and balloon through your lower back to release it. And then keeping your belly engaged, arching slightly, look up, ballooning out. Beautiful, coming back to a neutral spine. We'll take some hip circles. Switching direction. Come back to all fours. We can take our knees a little bit wider apart and then we can come back and stretch out into child's pose. Take a couple of deep breaths here, really breathing into your back and your back ribs. Letting any tension go. Let's walk our hands to one side, opening up through your ribs here, making space for baby. the other way. Come on up here. 
You can thread the needle, taking one arm, threading it through, and resting on your shoulder. You can either keep this hand in front of your face, or if it feels good, you can bring it up behind your back. One more breath here. Slowly transition out, then move to the other side. Keeping your hips square here is gonna protect your core, so you're really only twisting through your upper back here. coming up and we can find our way to a comfortable seated position. I'm going to read the pregnancy card for the day, which is perhaps I am stronger than I think. And I believe that you are. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that Pilates bar fusion class. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. I will keep making pregnancy workouts every week. If you like workouts like these, please give the video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell. And to support me, share this with another pregnancy community or pregnant friend that you think would enjoy it. I also have free resources for pregnant moms I will link to in the description box below. A pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, a complete labor ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after, or you can grab your copy of the pregnancy yoga card. Thank you so much for joining me. You're doing amazing. I'm going to link to another video that I think you would enjoy there as well. And the whole pregnancy yoga and workout playlist. You can save the playlist, sort through it, and come back to the different workouts whenever you like.